if you were to, if you were given the opportunity, so like everyone's giving up on the Lakers right now, but there, I feel like there are a couple moves that like could simply fix them like that, you know, like mm. trade up. So Miles Turner's value <clears throat> is super high because so many teams need a center like him. From what I've heard, every two, team in the NBA would take a player like Miles Turner. It's two solid role players, a first round pick and a protected pick. If I'm the Lakers, mm. I'm giving up. Um, I, I, if I'm the Lakers, I'm giving up. Um, you know, Horton Tucker, a first round pick and a protected pick, and whatever other role player they want, whether that's a <clears throat> Cam Baysmore who might have added played good against the Hornets and shows he could still be in a right player in the league, and mm. you'd bloody hope that the Pacers accept that and that's the best offer they get. Um, considering the Lakers aren't that good this year, that could be like pick 18 or something for the Pacers, which they might take. Um, automatically, he adds three-point shooting, which they don't have, and interior defense finally gives Vogel someone to work with and AD some help, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Next move? If I, if I had go, to guess, go. I would... Uh, if I had to guess, I would rather than go after someone like a Jeremy Grant than a Miles Turner. I know he said that mm. he wouldn't want to accept a role where he wasn't a primary offensive option, but um, I don't think the answer for this team is to find another big man because they are clearly lacking in perimeter defense. And I feel like if they put AD at the five, that would solve most of their center positions if they could surround him with more competent wing defenders because he's not Rudy Gobert. You can't just funnel in all the driving players to Anthony Davis and he's just going to send them all back. That's just not going to happen. You need to surround mm. him with some competent defenders to make that a good defense. That's really interesting. So you do think they should find a four that is an elite perimeter defender over a five who is an elite interior defender? Yeah, I, I think Ooh. they need a long wing who can stretch the floor and play some perimeter defense and occasionally do some shot creation. Basically, Jeremy Grant that might not be Jeremy Grant because apparently he wants to be a fucking superstar when he's clearly not now. But Mm, that's that's... what has to get done and you have to have him as a rental. Might even be worth it for that if you only have to give up Horton Tucker and a pick or two. The only way I would play, I would start AD at the five is if I had a center off the bench that could also interior defend. Because one yeah. center that can interior defend is not enough. They need another mm. guy. But yeah. there's no one out there. Realistically, no. there is no one out there now. All the, te- all the smart teams have picked them up. Like, all the smart teams have managed mm. to go out and get them. And the ones that are up for trade, like Mo Bamba right now, dude, they're not going to want THT. Why the hell would, why, why would they want Talon and Tucker? Yeah. It's just not going to happen. But mm. I don't mind that opinion by you. So you think Jeremy Grant is the guy they should go full steam ahead for him? He, he would be the ideal target, yeah, or somebody that's, you know, of that mould where you can be that elite 3 and D guy and obviously do a little bit of shot creation on the side because they, Lord knows, they need that when Westbrook and, to a higher extent, LeBron is off the floor. Mm. They still need that. So. Like some shot creation here and there. Um, the other mm. thing, um, which is the worry, and I think Lakers fans would agree with me on this to oppose your opinion here. The last time the Lakers traded for someone who didn't want to be there, it didn't go too well. And I think yeah. you remember the whole Dennis Schroeder thing. He said <laughs> before he got mm. traded, I don't want to go here. I don't want to go to the Lakers, yeah. It seemed like he wanted to play for a small market team like OKC, but then he went to the Celtics. He that. was perfectly happy with staying. <laughs> he was perfectly happy with staying in OKC, um, but obviously we were going in a completely different direction. So I have a feeling you guys might look at him next year, because if you're going to build a um, bench, why wouldn't you look at Schroeder? Yeah, no. Nah, look, I don't think so. I think we're a year away from being a year away, from being wanting to actually yeah get a bench. Be, um, Give it one more year, then I guess. Um, but yeah, again, on that, what do you say about that? Like, do you just say, well, screw it? Look, it didn't work with Schroeder, but can you get it to work with Jeremy Grant? Is that... Well, I mean, if you're giving up Taylor Horton Tucker, he has no place on this team anyway. He has he has value outside of the Lakers, but to the Lakers as it stands right now, he has no value. Mm. 
he's just he's the the um the missing piece that doesn't fit yeah at the moment so he needs to be moved and if it is for a one year rental of Jeremy Grant if you think that that can go away towards fixing these problems that you have then I guess because it's championship or bust at this point LeBron James is 37 years old he's not going to be going like this forever he's already started getting injured which I think an underrated part of why they went after Russell Westbrook was the fact that Anthony Davis is made out of paper mache and can't stay on the court and looks like he's going to fucking die as soon as he falls on the floor every game and LeBron is 37 and is already starting to show signs of an injury history and Westbrook is one of the few players in the NBA that you know is going to play 70, 80 games a year and is capable of carrying a, uh, a squad that isn't too good to a lot of wins and racing the, um, for. I don't think the Lakers will get Jeremy Grant because a team... No, I don't think so either. A team in the um, Sacramento Kings... <clears throat> has come out and has shown the most interest in Jeremy Grant. And I don't understand. The thing is here too, they're going to offer him the most money in free agency because Jeremy Grant wants um, $25 million a year. That's, mm. that's the asking price. And what team's going to offer him $25 million a year? The Sacramento Kings, right? So, yeah. And they desperately need a four. Like desperately, mm. they have they don't have a power forward. Harrison Barnes is playing power forward. I, th- oh no, I don't I don't even know who their power forward is. I think Bagley's <clears throat> been playing it recently, but like, dude, the Lakers at this point, I think it's going to be a free agency thing. I think the season's gone nearly. Like, I know there mm. is a chance, but the season's I think it's buried. Right? Like, what more can you yeah. do if you're the Lakers? Look. There's potential just purely because of the amount of talent on the roster and because everybody, we all trust LeBron James in the playoffs. Obviously, the man went to fucking 826 straight finals. But um, look, there's some potential for them to make some noise in the playoffs. But if they went in the first round against someone like the Grizzlies, I would be very, very nervous for them. They're getting torn apart by the Grizzlies like... Absolutely, dude, <clears throat> four and one. Like LeBron's going to pinch a game because it's LeBron, but they're going to beat him in five, right? It's just even, they're going to kill even them. a team like the Mavericks. I wouldn't feel confident again with them against the Mavericks. Look, I genuinely think they're the sixth or seventh best team in the West, and that's what the record shows. So yeah, unless things drastically change, that's where they're headed. No, I don't think. I don't think. Because they, it's not like they need one or two pieces. Like, I mean, I would have said one or two pieces if they could have gotten like Miles Turner and a Danny Green type of guy. But then you still got to fill out the bench, right? Like, you can maybe contend mm. if you brought in Miles Turner and a young <clears throat> Danny Green, but you're not gonna. You might get the, you might make conference finals, but you're gonna get rolled over by a Phoenix or a Warriors or even a Grizzlies. Through the 